Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my intro to Minecraft. This is for um, all the new guys out there that I've never played before and are looking for a bit of guidance on how and what to do when playing Minecraft. So this video I'm just going to take you through the basics of like making tools, gathering um, things like collecting items and stuff, all that kind of thing, all the basic things you need to know to start playing Minecraft. So let's get straight into the game. So here I've got um, two chests, um, a crafting table, and two furnaces. So the first thing you're going to do when you play the game, you're probably going to spawn in an area like this. Um, uh, this is just full of trees, different types of trees. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so once you, the first thing you need to do in Minecraft is you need to get some tools to collect materials and stuff like that. So I'm just going to head into this chest here. Um, I've got some wood here that I. I've been on creative mode and I've got these put in. So I'm just gonna get them out and build them like this so. So when you first start you'll probably see trees just like the ones around here. Um, and basically the first thing you gotta do is just go up to it and start hitting it by holding down the left mouse button. And eventually it will break like that and you'll see a little floating bit of wood that drops once you've hit it. That means you've actually collected the wood and all you need to do now is go over and pick it up just by walking out. So once you've got um, three or four bits of wood, just it depends. Um, say I've got four. Um, you press the letter E to bring up your inventory um, and you put the oak wood there to get oak wood planks. So you just collect all of them and that is made from the logs that you get from a tree. So the main thing you use wood for is creating um, tools and uh, fences and stuff like that for building. A lot of buildings used wood. So to make a stick, you basically, um, sorry, no. The first thing you're going to do is make a crafting table, which you need four planks for. So you've got four planks there, and you basically just fill these in a square. It's basically the shape that you want that the um, final thing is going to be. So because the crafting table is a square, you're going to use a square like that. So if you drag the crafting table into there and then place it on the floor. If you right click on the crafting table, it brings up a larger crafting area. It means you can make more complicated items and that kind of thing. So the first thing you want to do is make some tools. So to make tools, first of all you need a handle for the tool. And you make that by creating a stick, which is just two planks like that. So I'm going to make eight, and then to make your first set of tools, the handle goes like this, and then to make an, uh, a pickaxe, you make the shape of a pickaxe, so you make three on the top like that, so you'll have a pickaxe there, and um, you want to do that again, and you want to make a spade, so the first thing you're going to do is like to put that so it's in the shape of a spade, and you're going to do it again and get an axe, so that's the shape of an axe, and for a sword um, you're going to need a bit more wood, so I'm just going to put that in there. For a sword it's only one um, stick because if you put two and then put the top of the sword on you're going to get a spade, so what you need is just one stick there and then two wood on top and you get a sword. So, just create a few more sticks for later on. There you go, that's how you make your first set of tools. So let's run through what they do. Um, right, I need some of this out. Where's my stone? There. Right, an axe is obviously used for cutting down anything that's wooden. You collect wood faster than punching it, like so. And then pick them up. Right, a spade is for digging soil, dirt, sand, all this, all the soft kind of things that you would normally dig up with a spade in real life. That's what it's used for. Um, the sword is obviously for killing monsters, which I don't have any at the minute. Um, and then the pickaxe is used for mining stone. Um, your pickaxe, the wooden pickaxe, the thing you're going to know about, sorry, the thing about you're going to know about pickaxes is 
different pickaxes can only do certain things. So because wood is the least effective pickaxe, wood can only mine stone, like so. And it can also mine coal as well, but I'll get that later on. So once you mine your stone with your pickaxe, you'll see it'll drop something different. It's actually, sorry, it's actually kind of jaggedy on the, like cr cracked in the edges. That's called cobblestone. So if you look, I've got cobblestone here. I'll show you the difference between them. That's the difference. Like you mine this one, you mine this one, and you get this one. So you can also mine cobblestone with a wooden pickaxe. But that's pretty much about it. You can mine with a wooden pickaxe. They're not very good. So I'm going to mine some more stone. Because um, the next set of uh, tools that you can get are stone tools. So you make them in exactly the same way as you made the wooden ones. Um, I made some earlier just to speed things up a little bit. So I've got them in here. I'm going to go away and throw these away. You, put, you throw things away like that by pressing the letter Q. So now I have a full set of stone tools. And you might be thinking, what's this one here? This one. Well, basically this is called a stone hole. Um, it's used for farming, like for, to make farmland. So if you need to plant some seeds, which you can get by, see long grass here? You punch the long grass and sometimes, not every time, Sometimes they'll drop seeds, so eventually, if you punch it enough, you'll get some seeds. Eventually, there we go, drop some seeds. So the seeds are in my hand now. And um, basically, to plant the seeds, all you need to do is get the stone hoe and right-click on the floor, and it'll make farmland, and you can now plant them. So I'm going to leave them there for a bit. I've got some more seeds over here. And as you can see, that is actually turned from farmland back to normal soil. That's because farmland needs water to um, to grow properly. You can still grow it without water, but it takes a lot longer. Um, so what you would do is you would just fill this trench up here with water, and these would grow faster. So on to the next set part. When you finally go mining, which you'll probably find something like this, it's just a hole in the floor, and you get cobblestone and all this kind of thing. Um, when you go down, you'll find different types of materials. The first thing you'll probably find is um, either coal. Well, the first thing you'll find is stone. And the two other main things you'll either find is coal, which is this here, and iron ore, which is that here. So... I'm going to make a bit more iron ore. Right, so as I said before, you can mine coal with a wooden pickaxe, but it's not very fast. So you, once you make a stone pickaxe, stone pickaxes can mine stone, coal, and iron. They can mine iron as well. So you're going to need a stone pickaxe if you want to get better items. Um, so I'll just go ahead and mine all of this. Right, so um, you've mined the iron, um, and to make iron items like these, you're going to need iron bars. So to make iron bars, you need a furnace, um, which is one of these things here. That's the that's the start, like that's the HUD for it. So to make a furnace, what you're going to need to do is you're going to Right click on your crafting table and you need cobblestone for this. So cobblestone you make a box shape but because you need to put something inside it you leave a gap in the middle and that gives you a furnace. So you just right click on the floor to place the furnace and then do I have any coal? No. And then put um put the coal in, the coal that you mine before you put coal in to do that. And that powers the furnace. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna put in some of your iron ore and as you can see the arrow is a progress bar and the furnace lights up and basically all that is doing is that's smelting the iron ore in iron bars for you so 
here's the production bit. You get the iron ingot and you just put it in your inventory. Um, and now all we're going to do is going to wait for these to smelt. And then I'll show you how to make some armor. And I'll show you what iron pickaxes do. Right, so I've got 10 iron bars now. Um, to make iron armor like this, which is a full set of iron armor, it's one of the best, or well, it's the second best set of armor you can get. And you wear them like so. And then that's, the, that's your guy there with the iron armor on. Right, to make iron armor, you're going to need a minimum of, right, well, basically, if you want to make the plate body, you're going to need nine bits of, uh, eight bits of iron. So, to make a helmet, we'll first start off with a helmet. To make a helmet, you just make a helmet shape. So, think of your head's going to go inside it. So, that makes the iron helmet, like so. Just the helmet shape, like that. And then, to make the legs, you're going to make a pair of leg shape. Not together, because that gives you an iron door but like so with a gap in the middle like you would in real life that's your leggings to make boots you're going to make two feet shape like that and to make the plate body you just fill up the middle and put the one there and just leave a gap for your head to go and then you get your iron chest plate so we'll get that and then to equip it, all you do is you click on the chest plate, drag it across to here, and click again. And that puts it on your person. And as you can see, just above my health bar, um, you've got the armor values. So the best armor you can get is obviously diamond. Um, diamonds can only be mined using an iron pickaxe. So be careful. Don't go using a stone pickaxe on diamonds, because if you keep mining it, it'll just disappear if it takes too long to mine. So always use an iron pickaxe. Um, I'll put all this diamond armor on. Ta da! And I've got a sword as well. Right, so these are all finished smelting now. So, what's going to happen is, like, if you want to make your iron uh, tools just the same as before, that makes a pickaxe, that makes an axe, that makes a spade. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you how to, make a, how to make a hole. It's the same for every material. It's just one on the top and then one to either the left or the right. Doesn't matter which one. So you put it there or there and you get the same thing. Right. So, um, I think that's just about it. Um, what else have I got to show you? Oh, yes. Like when you cut down a tree, sometimes they'll drop these things called saplings which is just a baby tree really and um, to plant it you just need any bit of soil any just right click and eventually that will grow into a, a normal sized tree also cobblestone if you want to get that back to stone you put that back in the furnace and that starts to smelt um, also um, monsters spawn in dark areas like this so to keep them away, you just got to make a torch, which you put stick on the bottom and coal on the top. And then you get torches like that. And all you do is you right click on the floor or on other things like trees. Can you, play, you can't place them on leaves, but you can just place them around. And this will stop monsters spawning near you. They can still walk into the light, but um, they can't spawn inside it. So if you put a fence around as well, they'll not be able to get in. Um, thank you for watching. Um, be sure to check out um, my beginner Let's Play series. That will be taking you through surviving day one, surviving day two, that kind of thing. Um, you can play along with me. I'll give you the seed for the for the map. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you liked it. Um, leave us a comment. Send us a message for any suggestions or comments you have. Um, I'm open to everything. So. Just let us know. Thanks for watching.